What's up everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck gameplay video for you guys today. And today I had a request to do Portal. So I figured it'd probably run real good, but hey, I don't mind doing a quick little video. Now this game should probably be able to just be maxed out. So as usual, I'm gonna try to just, you know, get some screen recorded gameplay for like five, six minutes. Then we'll move on to camera and then we'll wrap it up unless it can't maintain 60 maxed out. And we're not doing ray tracing or anything. This thing probably couldn't even do two FPS. I don't even know if you can turn it on on the Steam Deck version of Portal. But on the secondary and primary computer, of course, we'll check out the ray tracing. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and get our Steam Deck hooked up to the capture computer and we can have a look at some settings get some screen recorded gameplay then we'll get a little camera gameplay at the end so let's hop on into the game all right let's have a quick look at the settings here before we hop into the game now when i do my camera recorded i change it to uh 16 by 10 so i can do the 1280 by 800 but other than that we left everything else the same but i just wanted to mention that but anyway, that's the bottom, so now let's go see how Portal runs on the Steam Deck. Well, here we go. We're at the very beginning of the game here. Yes, I'll make sure to do just that. Two, one. And through the portal we go. Seems as though we're out of our little prison. That's what it looks like anyway. It looks like a clear prison to me. <laughs> All right, first little puzzle here. Give me my cube. Here we go, we got our cool little companion cube here. There we are. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material... Well, we're getting lots of FPS. But that's to be expected. Although I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this many fluid. FPS. For instance, the aperture science... I figure it might get like around 100. Cube. It obviously depends on where you're at. But most of this game is indoors. If I recall, it's been a while since I played it, but I think it's all pretty much in these kind of environments. Please it's just the portals themselves that kind of drop the FPS a little. Down to 150. Super super but this is also not portal with RTX either, obviously. I didn't bother with that because I figured it would A, not run on the, on the Steam Deck, and B, I figured ray tracing on the Steam Deck is not going to be good. Nope, we weren't quick enough. I would move quickly, but I was too slow. To so now I have to wait. But yeah, I'm also... Oh. I need to leave the damn thing there. I don't know why I picked up the stupid cube. Alright, come on, give me my cube so I can put it back on the damn thing. Give me. Really? It's, it's on the thing, come on. You're really gonna make me go back in there and like... And, and put it back on? Fine. Oh, nope, it's not the right room. Come on, give me the room. Give me the room, give me the room. There we go. Fine. There. Alright, we got that now. Oh, or did it fall off? Did it fall off again? Because, yeah, the freaking winning place over there ain't open yet, so it must have. Son of a bitch. You're a, ter you're a bad cube. You stay on there. Stay. Anyway, enough playing with the cube. And now we can go. So now I guess we're on to the next puzzle. What will it be, I wonder? A quick little loading screen here. You're doing very well. Please Damn be advised right I am. that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an okay. unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. But I would like my teeth. 
Ah, oh, cool, the portal gun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With cool. it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly what? at I the operational end of the device. I shouldn't just put my hand in front of a gun device. and shoot it? Do not what madness the is this? device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Oh, we gotta put one. No, not there. That's not gonna help us. If we come out there, we need to go over there. We just have to put the blue, a blue one up there. Here we go. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. All right, looks like we're up to the next next test, but I think before we get into that, why don't we go ahead and move on to some camera now. Well now guys, let's get ourselves a little camera gameplay here. Had no sound Welcome for the whole beginning. Chamber four. You're doing quite well. our floor. So what do we have this time? Probably not. Son of a bitch. Oh well. It's okay. Haha. <laughs> Always liked doing that. Anyway. Now we can plop you over here. Okay, there's one. Now where is the other one? required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Oh, Good job. so you a liar. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two,
Nope, must have to load. Luckily it loads really fast. So, so now we're already on six, huh? While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused burns unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject Hong Kong here. Where to now, guys? Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. All right. So, let's see here, what do they want me to do? I actually knocked over my dang light, luckily it didn't break anything else. But I think that's a perfect time to move on, so let's move on. So I can pick up my light and hope it didn't break anything in the process. Well alright guys, as a wrap for Portal on the Steam Deck, handled it absolutely flawlessly. I figured it would, it's a pretty old game. Obviously we didn't try the ray tracing out, but as I said at the beginning, that would be like a 1 to 2 FPS experience and that wouldn't be fun and I don't even know if you can do that on the Steam Deck. But I'll definitely try that out on a secondary and primary computer. Those actually have NVIDIA GPUs and have, you know, good ray tracing capabilities. I'm not even going to bother trying it on the ASUS G15 Advantage, I'm just going to play a little Little portal on that just to see how it runs because again if the steam deck can run it and get like 180 to 200 and something fps i'm sure my laptop can get like 400 and something fps but still i wanted to try it out just for fun because i'm sure somebody out there is curious how it runs on the azg 15 advantage it's kind of what happens no matter what quest somebody makes on any various computer i just go huh there's got to be at least one or two people out there that are curious how it runs on just the laptop itself we're not going to sit here and do the secondary screen or anything like that we're just going to do it on the laptop maxed out well screen and camera and whatnot and move on to the desktop. Anyway though, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it because I sure as hell enjoyed making it. And until the next video, peace out guys.